The Prime Minister's inability to fight his own allies and push through key reforms like pensions, banking and insurance bill has also added to the flux. The Prime Minister has often been found blaming his allies for his failures to push big-ticket reform like FDI. Congress and its staunch allies have been in constant denial. The Indian economy is much more stable than uh, the other economies. So this is linked to the world economy. We cannot isolate Manmohan Singh and accuse him of the failures India is now facing. There are other factors, external factors, extraneous factors than the uh, government uh, factor, policy factor matters. So it, it includes various other things also. You cannot squarely blame Manmohan Singh for this today's condition. Maybe अमेरिका के but that has failed to convince India's industrialists who have been unequal vocal in castigating the policy freeze that has paralyzed decision making post the Lokpal agitation. Right from Ratan Tata, Deepak Parekh, Mukesh Ambani to Azim Premji, the government's deviation from governance has been in stark focus. If you look at the Prime Minister in our system of democratic system, Prime Minister has virtually two roles. One as a chief executive officer and second is like a chairman or a managing director who gives a direction, who sets up the pace in the direction including reforms. He certainly has failed in both. But if I were to say where he has done his bigger disservice is in not being able to execute efficiently under his tutelage the complete execution machinery. But there I think his hands are tied. His hands as the Prime Minister are tied because there is a parallel central power. Time Magazine's remarks are only a reiteration of what other key analysts have been saying. Standard & Poor's have downgraded India and questioned the duality of the balance of power. The credit rating agency had cited deadlock in policy making and ambiguity on reforms as big problems. Not just white collar analysts, the common man on the street has also given a thumbs down to Dr. Manmohan Singh. Yeah, there are a lot of expectations from him. As a Prime Minister of our country, but uh, he, he has not performed. He has not performed at all. See, other parties, you know, they, they want uh, him to work for them, not for the country. See, in a coalition government, just to run a government, I feel these people are running the government. He is an uh, authentic uh, Indian robot, like that. He is controlled by someone. He is not uh, running on his own mind. And yeah, 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 he has become a puppet under the government. He cannot inculcate his own ideas and run the government. He is by the heart, he is a very good person, but under uh, under some pressure, he is working. I uh, vehemently disagree with them. I think uh, India is lucky to have a Prime Minister like Manmohan Singh. Uh, he is one of the best human beings in, in the planet, one of the best leaders. 